These are the 5 best learn to skills for Hikari in Octopath Traveler 2. Mythical Boar is an absolutely horrible skill and you should never pick it up. It consumes all of your SP to deal damage, but why would you want to give up potentially 100% of your SP just to do the max amount of damage? Most of the high damaging skills in game that you can get from the 12 regular classes can already deal max damage at under 50 SP. If anyone has ever told you to pick up Mythical Boar as a learned skill, go ahead and unsubscribe from them right now, and then subscribe to my second channel called Ochet. With the learned skill called Glass Gasp, you can spend 15 to 30 SP and achieve the same results. Here are the pros and cons of both Mythical Boar and Last Gasp. Last Gasp has no cons and the pros are, it can deal max damage at 15 to 30 SP, and it can be used over and over again. Mythical Boar has no pros and all of the cons. You have to recover SP after every challenge or fight if you even want to use Hikari again. The SP to damage ratio is horrible because it can't go past the max damage. And it takes up all of your SP. Last Gasp deals more damage the lower the character's HP is. You already see where this is going. This synergizes extremely well with Alpione's amulet. For this build, make sure to equip the Battle Tested Blade and the Giant's Club to maximize the amount of damage that you do. If you want to find this skill called Last Gasp, head over to Montwise and then challenge this guard. Here's how much a 15 SP Last Gasp does against a 15 SP Mythical Boar. Mythical Boar has an inferior SP to damage ratio compared to Last Gasp. The next skill that we have is called Limb for Limb. This is a sword attack that hits a single foe four different times. You can combine this with the Dancer's Divine skill called Sealtig Seduction to make it hit every single enemy. Lag of Last Gas, combine this with Alpione's Amulet, the Battle Tested Blade, and the Giant's Club to deal an absolutely massive amount of damage. If you want to find this skill, go to Stormhail and then head inside the Sacred Guard's headquarter. From there, use your path actions to take out the Sanctum Knight and inside this room, you will find another knight with the skill. Sentencing Gavel is the next learned skill for Hikari that is absolutely insane. This is a staff attack that hits all foes three different times. This is his best multi-target learned skill that doesn't require the setup of Seal Teague Seduction. Equip the Battle Tesla Blade in the Giant's Club to deal an insane amount of damage. This hits all enemies three different times, so you can open up the battle with this and you will destroy everything right away. You can find this skill in Timberrain. Head over to the courthouse and outside you will find a judge who has the sentencing gavel. The next skill that we have is called Shield Thief. It does cost 80 SP to use, but you can reduce it by using the support skill called SP Saver. Shield Thief breaks one shield of a single foe regardless of their weaknesses. Combine this with Seal Teague Seduction at max boost and then you will break 4 shields from every enemy in battle. If you want to find this skill, head over to Winterbloom and then go up a screen. Shield Thief can be taken from this thief after you best him in a 1v1. The last skill that we have is absolutely busted. It is called Boost from Beyond. It grants 1 BP and up to 4 BP to all of your allies, but at the cost of being incapacitated. Some of you might see where this is going. The support skill called Hang Tough allows you to survive lethal damage at 1 HP. This allows Hikari to live after using Boost from Beyond at 1 HP. This synergizes extremely well with most Hikari builds as he prefers to be at 1 HP. This is also optional but you can equip the support skill called BP and Adversity as when he is near death he will gain 2 BP after using Boost from Beyond. Boost from Beyond has a lot of play and can combo with several different things. If you do want to pick up this skill, head to Stormhail and then go inside the Sacred Guard's headquarter. Go up the stairs to the left and then you will find a Sanctum Knight here with the skill Boost from Beyond. I believe these are the 5 best learned skill in game that Hikari has access to. Let me know what 5 learned skills you have on Hikari. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and enjoy.